drama has forget about season two. Oh, I wasted my time. One, two, three. Hey guys, it is Rachie and welcome back to my channel and we're gonna do another review of another drama. I'm gonna remove this so this could look better. But I was cold, but yes, look at me. I love this top, it's cute. But yes, I'm gonna do a review of Tribes and Empires. And I gotta get rid of my screen recording. Tribes and Empires, The Storm of Prophecy. And I just literally finished this. You can see that um, it's on my continue watching. And yes, everything I watch is always on Drama Fear because I pay for it. I pay for premium, so. I'm gonna watch every so ahead. We won't have any, any watch calls. Let's see. If, can I just, whatever. Let's go try. Just pop up. I'm sorry. I should have had the page up like the other time. Yes. This drama I'll give you a little behind story like I did in my other reviews. If this will load, I'll probably cut this off. It takes a while. Oh, well, it's here. But yes, this is it. Um, Tries and Empires the Storm Prophecy. It has 75 episodes. And yes, it is fully done now. It came out in 2017 in November, I think. But I'm not sure when Drone Fever started uploading it because I watched it for a while. And yes, um, what is about a prince crumbling dynasty? What? The prince of a crumbling dynasty escapes the castle that has confined him, but when his empire is about to fall, it's time for a homecoming. And yes, it has these actors and actresses. I don't know why they have them, but I seen um, Huang Shun. Shun Shun. Um, yes, I seen him, and he was in. Imperial Doctress and what was it? Um, Legend of Mingyue, the one on YouTube that I still haven't finished because I was watching this. But yes, I finished it. Yes, I skipped. One. I actually skipped an episode, but I need to get done with this because it's been going on for a long time. But yes, yes, I'll give you read the little thing. Um, Prince Sheng Yun. Uh, Huang Shun, the Imperial, well, he was an Imperial Doctress, um, Enlist Enterprises, whatever that is, is hated in the palace, a child of a human king, and a spirit mother. She's a charmer, and he is considered unfit to leave Duan Dynasty because prophecy says he's a, his leadership will destroy the world when his father and brothers die. And he is pushed to lead by Sheng Yun. Sheng, Sheng, Wu Yun Sheng, um, where is it, um, doesn't care about the throne, he only, his only interest is a mysterious woman he sees in a magical gem upon learning of the horrible truth, Wu Yun Sheng, um, Wu Yun, sorry, uh, escapes the palace, leaving the throne to his uncle, wait, what? Okay, but the prophecy has something else in mind. Hu Ye Shong Feng, the leader of the nomadic tribes, brave and intelligent, insightful. He is worthy a worthy opponent even for the empire when he sees a prince has left the castle. He launches an all-out attack. His goal is given a nomadic, give the nomadic people their own land. He is willing to see Duan fall and make it happen. Han Zheng Wu Yu. Han Zheng, which is called that, is the son of an exiled general because the prophecy that declared him a future monarch, he was abandoned by, oh wait, he was abandoned by his own father who was loyal to no one but the royal family. Han, Han Zheng knows neither his destiny nor Su Yuning, okay. And the woman this destined to be the Empress when Mu Yunshan Muru Han Shang reluctantly joins the forces to return 
with the returning prince Shonryun to regain his throne. Prophecies start to come true, but the prophecy is a storm. Storms and in a disaster. Tribes and empires. The sort of prophe prophecy was directed by Chao Dong Duan. The drama is based on a hit no novel with the same name by Jin Hozai. Hozai. <clears throat> And first air in 2017 well yes this drama is a melodrama revenge historical romance epic war of fantasy chinese empire's magic period drama based on novel no novel land novel land but <clears throat> basically this description doesn't happen to to the very ending of this drama basically some of the stuff i didn't even know when I was reading this because I didn't even know that he left the palace for his uncle because his uncle sorry there's gonna be spoilers but his uncle got his own army and he wants to take over but he wasn't there in the ending he killed his wife because she was um one of the Muru's what you call it um daughters and she was like righteous and everything wants to help the nation but yes this got a 4.1 star because of the ending. I know it's because of the ending, but this girl right here, there is a second part to, is there a second part to this? How could it be possible to end a 75 episodes with no conclusion of the whole story? I'm very disappointed. I cried and got excited. The, you go with the ending, um, just killed me. Hopefully they'll continue making it 80 to 100 episodes i will be satisfied if i can't leave us hanging not cool i'll wait for the continuation hopefully the grand viewers grand ending to the story yes this drama there's no ending because in the prophecy um i'll show the picture Muru Han Zhong, um, he's supposed to be the emperor, and she's Su Yuning, supposed to be empress, and he's supposed to be an emperor that um, messes up the the empire. But that doesn't happen to like the very ending where he becomes an emperor, and everything. This um, mess. he like his tribe died, and now he's in the like dark, the black forest. And there's a whole long story with that. I'm not going to explain it. But yes, you have to watch 75 episodes like I did. But yeah. And <laughs> they basically talk. They don't really talk about the Black Furs too much until the end. But it has a very important part in the story of what happened before and how the land started. And <laughs> it's too much. This is like 75 episodes for the next season where you want to find out where all the descriptions work with this. It doesn't actually work with this one. It should be setting up, um, I feel like this should have been shorter, not like 75 episodes, but it, it's good. The animations are better than most Chinese animations, which you have you watched them. They're pretty bad. I could probably insert little clips here, a bit, little stuff, but I have little clips of the drama and I'll talk about them later. But I recorded on Snapchat because I have to report my stuff. But yes, we're going to go down. Someone put a two star. Honestly, they started off so strong. Yes, they do. And then they dropped the ball pretty hard. With that kind of ending, it is clear they are setting up for a second season. Yes, they better have a second season. And Drama Fever better have the second season because, because it's hard to find it. You either have to get on YouTube. I know Amazon has it, has this season on there, but the second season they had to record however 75 episodes is no for no pro, pro progression in the story was an absolute waste of time yes it was 75 episodes for no good ending um when it could have just been wrapped up in like 50 episodes max yes i definitely agree with that because it um where is it no i'm not um like most of the drama was about the war like in the middle they were basically in the war the whole time and it kind of dragged on the same story like in other dramas that even though i watched like an 80 episode one i could sit through that and it had an actual ending which makes sense because there was a, a second season this should be all like full out and they should have like 
parts like other series like 15 or like 20 episodes but this is 75 which you think with Chinese um historical dramas they usually like end with one unless they have a second season but I'm not sure how the second seasons work with it because I haven't watched second seasons because I don't know how they connect like um let's keep going but yeah it like it just carried on the same thing like um I need their names again Shou Fen He Ye um he had he is the iron person the iron lord or something but he like gave it up for his brother he calls um him the brother but he's the leader and he's so stuck um he's been on power not um Shofu Hu Ye but his brother he's been on power and everything he gives the sword to him and he's the leader and he's pissed and everything and he's just making sure they um fight through but he has like a messed up love life like one of his um oh wait I can't say but yeah but he has a messed up love life and then Mu Ru Han Zhang he there the way where it ended is basically where all three of these guys separated and um it's going on the story where they're supposed to be all against each other and he's supposed to kill Mu Yun Mu Yun Sheng um he's supposed to kill him Mu Han Jung he's supposed to kill Mu Yun Sheng because he's a charmer because his mother was half charmer and half human so he's he's a um He's a special person. I won't give it away, but you'll find it out in the drama. But he's a special person, and he's supposed to kill one of them because he's messing up the empire. But yes, there's a there's a messed up part in this drama that pisses me off really bad. But yeah, it's so long, seven five episodes, and you don't get a resolution to this. Oh, it's stressful. But yes, hot mess. I like it. It's good. Everything's beautiful about the drama. Like the outfits are beautiful. I do like the girls. Um, even though she's evil, Nankun Yuli Yueli. Um, even though she is evil, I still like her in the story. And she's just like her only goal is to become empress, and she is like everything gets ruined each time for her. And she sacrificed herself to make it there, like, multiple ways. But, yeah. Why did I click on that? But, yes. Um, let me go back, actually. But, I'm gonna go through more of the reviews. But, basically, I need a second season. Because it, you need to watch it. But, it's, it's a really good drama. But, it's like, I need to find my words. It just leaves you off in like the middle of the story even though it's 75 episodes it leaves you right in the middle of the story where it's about where all the drama happens where all the stuff that you want to know that you've been told about the drama where they're getting to fight and then what you call it to be a horrible emperor and Han Chong's supposed to kill him he's supposed to be emperor and um so you need supposed to be empress but all the ending is the middle part of the whole damn story that's the fucking problem with this is that the last few episodes are the middle part all the other the beginning episodes are just the beginning of the story so you know what's going on before you get to the second for the ending which is, oh my gosh they should have shortened this down it it's a good it's a good story but they should have shortened down it's just too long but yeah <clears throat> sounds like such an amazing show i loved all episodes but the ending makes no sense see yes they need a second season to end it off because it doesn't go with the description at all and of course people have problems with the spanish subs and portuguese subs of course drawn fever and then sounds like just sad face beginning was so strong and beautiful yes it really was good that's what pulls you in but then as far as after episode 20 um, prepare for several disappointments. Watch something else that you did like. Dislike a story that goes nowhere. If you like wanna 
if you want something that goes on, then watch it. Because I'm going to watch that other season because I want to see what happens. Because even though you get the um, big picture of the story, you don't get the little details and how they end up there and what they go through. And, like, how each character developed. That's why, I like, even though, like, it's kind of the same story over and over again, it leads you to um, finding out. Um, someone says, interesting but not sure still if it's worthy. If it's worthy of watching or worth watching. It is worth watching, but if you don't want to like a cliffhanger ending of 75 episodes that you wasted your time on, then don't watch it. That's what I'm being honest. Like, don't watch it if you don't want a cliffhanger, but if you want to see like the story progress on and you're willing to wait for a second season, then watch it because it's really good. It's different than most um, dramas on Drama Fever, and it's like telling the stories of three characters instead of like one or two. And even though I really hate, like, most of the, usually with evil characters in Chinese um, dramas, I really hate them. I don't want them to be alive at all. I want them to die. But this is, I want to see them and what they do, what they create, how they change um, the good characters to turn them, like, make them grow. I liked, I actually liked it. I actually liked the, um, them pushing them to change their personalities and what like led them to what they're describing in the description. But yes, um, let's see what other people said. But yeah, it's really good, but yes. Uh, someone says, oh my God, Chinese best films ever. I don't think it's the best one, but it's really good. But uh, again, someone says, wow. Um, Someone said, um, won't bother with Chinese dramas in anymore until the last episodes air. And I know if it has a happy ending or not, saying five episodes is too much of an investment. A crappy, tragic ending? Yes, this is why you need to decide if you're going to watch seven, five episodes. Choose the right drama to, um, get you into Chinese dramas because this one's not not a good one to get into Chinese dramas because there's a lot of better ones that drama people said do not watch this one if you haven't watched full length Chinese dramas because the ending's not for you like um The King's Woman don't watch that as your first one even though it's really good don't watch it as your first one because even though some of the stories had the same ending as a, I don't know why that one just pisses me off I could do a review of that right after this but that one just pisses me off the most but yeah and that one's gonna be spoiler but I'm gonna give it all the way in the um uh the Empress Warren woman because I need to talk about that ending but yeah I'll put in the clips pop up somewhere but this is like my favorite clip right here And this is how I want to go out in life. I want people to come dramatically get me. And the ending was confusing very I think they're just gonna have a um, second season because they can't end it like that and yeah I live in China oh someone's like okay they're just responding what is it someone oh wait someone's okay someone um Someone's asking, is there anyone here who lives in China to get the latest news and update regarding the season two of the drama? And someone's like, I live in China and I know the latest news about TE forgot about season two. The drama had forget about season two. <laughs> this drama has no season two. This drama is even aired in China on China TV. It was rejected by the TV because it's way too draggy. <laughs> it, was, it was a 
we're doing 40 episodes drama but fourth the investors fourth by investors should drag it to 75 in order to make more money Honeyman TV asked them to cut half to half to seven or 40 episodes but then they force refused to do so this is why the drama fully turned into a web drama it's Dolben rating dropped from 8.3 first week to 7.1, which is the biggest drop in Dolben's um, rating history. T and E was filmed in 2015. Yes, that was. <laughs> Some of them. It was re filmed in 2015. It was. Re Film three years ago and all members including the directors and main actors are doing other drama it's been three years they won't make a season two are you fucking <laughs> um I'm this is well don't <laughs> We're gonna try to find this out because somehow we managed to find a second season to, um, what you call it? Maybe we, we can get it this time. Okay. Okay. Um, we're gonna, yeah, I looked this up in my spare time. Um, uh, yeah, that's all the stuff. Um, production. Let's look for production. Uh, Okay, produced by Nova Entertainment Culture uh, da, 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 is one of the most expensive Chinese dramas produced, um, boasting a budget rating from <coughs> 300 million um, Renmin Bing um, to 500 Renmin Bing. Filming began, <laughs> filming began in August 2015 in Xinjiang and wrapped up in May 2016 in Hikong, Japan, taking a total of 200, 270 days. It, it took 270 days to film this. Oh my god. Uh, da -da -da, da -da. So they really did fill it. Guys, I really don't think there's gonna be a season two. If I can find something, I'll put it at the ending or in the comments, but I really don't think there's gonna be a season two, sadly. I wasted my time and 35 episodes and tears on characters and not gonna see. Legend, I mean, yeah. Wasted time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I guess it was a wasted time. Unless we see something. Unless that's it. Yeah. <laughs> now this gets a horrible rating if there's a season two with. I'm so pissed but yeah i'll leave it here decide to watch it if not i don't know it's really up to you but yes i'll see you in the next review bye one two three <laughs>